That's right, folks, it's the Vagrants Valet once again. And you know what? We're going to do two things today. We're going to change it up a little. I just saw Captain America. I'm going to double back and go see what he's doing. He's hanging out with his friend. Captain America, as you know, is a very animated, very eclectic um, man of the street, man of the people. So we're going to go see what he's doing as soon as I can get turned around here. And then the other day when I was out rollerblading, I ran into a cat on the street and he was former, formerly homeless, had a really great positive attitude. Uh, he shares a little bit with us about how he got out of homelessness and his tale. It's just a random man on the street type situation, so it's a little bit inspiring. So now, like I said, let's get ourselves turned around. Let's go see what Captain America's doing. And for that, you know what I say, it's going to be ding and it's gonna be dang. Hey, Captain. <coughs> How are you, my brother? I'm fucking glad, baby. Uh, you all right? Hey, I, I don't have time for I don't have time for a ride today. Okay. But uh, you doing all right? Yeah, I can have a three dollars. You know what? I'm out of cash, but. <laughs> But how, how about a how about a bottle of water here you for you? You a pair of glasses, too, remember? Oh, you know what? I got a pair of glasses for you right now. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. What's this? Oh boy. Well, take it easy. Here, here, put that in your. So put what that, are you doing all day? Put right? put that in the satchel. Here you go. Here here's your glasses. No way. No 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 no. no. Oh, hey, hey. What you mean, no. You had a pair. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> it's for, I. I <laughs> no, mercy. Mercy's no, no, no. I'm okay. No, I'm good. Mark. Here, I, I'm good. Captain, give me my glasses. There you go. There you go. There you go. Try, too. try them Thank on. You. I promise. I promised them for you. Right are you, are you doing okay? Thank you. Are you doing okay? You need help with something, bud? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to watch out for him too. Okay. Well, living on the streets, you got to practice what you preach, right? What words of inspiration do you have for everybody? You're always a, a buy wolf. some weed, man. Uh, I don't know about that. Why not? <laughs> All right, I got to get going. I'll All catch right. you guys later. All right, you stay beautiful. Don't ever change. Okay. Take care. Sir. All right. Thank you. All right, so send me a picture of those with the glasses there. You look good. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thanks, See you guys. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give them. I already gave you a pair. Right. Right. All right. All right. I'll see you guys. All right. I love you both. Well, there's Captain America. He's a regular uh, on the Vagrants Valet YouTube channel. He didn't look like he. He was normally a little bit. Normally, he's a little bit more with it. I guess you might say he looked a little. Uh, how do you say it? Euphemistically. Mm discombobulated there and that's his friend I forget his friend's name but his friend actually uh, sent me a comment in the comment comment section of the channel uh, requesting a pair of cool vagrants valet John Lennon style doop, uh, sunglasses so I had the chance to to deliver on my promise so hey let's get back on the streets let's see what's going on and to that you know what I say I'm gonna say ding and ding. Hey, we have a new resident right here in Bloomington, Indiana. That's right. What's your name, please? Reginald Lewis. Reginald Lewis. And where are you in town from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. So you spent some time in Grayson? Yes, I'm born and raised there. So I, uh, when it comes to Ellis Crescent, I have the Lisa Marie, the airplane, the jets, the home, the bedroom that people are not allowed oh. in. I've been there. I've always been there. Played with the horses, stayed at them a few times. Uh, my relative still works for Graceland right now. So. Well, what what brings you here to uh, beautiful Bloomington, Indiana, uh, Monroe County? Well, it seems like a small, laid back, prime and slow, it not is? affiliated. Okay. Uh, the only thing that I see that and I could give an arrow to it is a lot of homeless here. But I understand a lot of situations. It, even the home, they got homeless here that do have programs to put them in place to feed them. And so I do appreciate for them to get to that. Have you, are there a lot of vagrants, a lot of homeless in uh, no, in Memphis? No, it's a few, but it's really not like it is here. Okay. Because there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of programs. They got like the uh, what is it, that Salvation Army? They, yeah, 
the Shalom Bells. Shalom Center there? Yes, the Shalom Center. All those is there. So, did, did, have you ever experienced homelessness? Yes, I have. I was homeless two years ago, right? How, for, how, um, for how long? For one year. Oh. Um, how, how'd you get out of it? How'd you get out of it, man? Uh, I woke up one day and didn't want to do drugs no more because I lost everything and oh, I wanted yikes. to bounce back. And, um, well, you're I sober just, now, aren't you? You look for great. Sure. You look back, great. Yeah, I'm definitely sober. <laughs> but I had, I had to go on a journey. Like, I don't know nobody here. Uh, you probably, well, you know me now. I just met you. Yeah. Um, the, I met a young woman on Facebook today. Oh, um, a debutante. All right. Yeah. Well, you're so, a good looking dude. So I appreciate that. Clean and sober? Yes. Facts. It takes you know. It took a lot of me to do that because my drug of choice was fentanyl, right? Oh. Which is the most one of the most dangerous drugs in America at this moment. Oh yeah, that can that can kill you. That it can kill you. Could. And uh, like I said, I, what happened is I had got kidnapped one point of time. They oh, cut no. my face off. Yikes! So it started my addiction. They gave me these. The doctor oh. prescribed these medical drugs, uh, Percocet. And long story short, on that end, I got addicted, and I didn't know how to control that addiction. So the right. only thing I could do is ask somebody on the street. One thing led to another. I lost my restaurant. I lost my lawn care service. I lost a lot of things. So uh, my daughter only have one child. She is in Bowling Green, Kentucky. She's in college. Oh, college. that's land of milk and honey there, Bowling exactly. Green. Yes, yes. Oh. I've never been there, right? But my daughter's in school there and everything. And uh, she talked to me. She gave me a real deep conversation. You know what I'm saying? One thing about a woman, even though that's my child, yeah. they have strong words and wisdom. I don't oh, want to yeah. listen to everything some of them say, but it comes from a right place, you know? Oh, so fantastic, fantastic. Yes. Well, congratulations on getting out of homelessness, and don't be afraid to share your story with some of the people downtown. Yeah. Um, I'm the vagrant's valet, and I, I, I work with the, the homeless people, and okay. you might you might see me around in a red convertible. So. Okay. What yeah, kind of I work? I a barbecue for them uh, two weeks ago. I bought some food. I got, because I work oh, with okay. a guy named Joe, uh, Mr. Joe Conley. He's, he got a contract back there with those apartments. And so what I do is I cut grass to do lawn service. Cause I had What's the name of the lawn service? Uh, Joe, it's not a, it's one of those. He's been around this area for like, he's born and raised here. He's like 75. Oh, I so see. Steve, uh, Mr. Blackwell, Steve Blackwell, I think that's okay. his name. Shout out to him. You ever need your lawn cut? And what, what about the barbecue service? Is that like one of those roadside deals? Well, no, what I did was I just went and purchased some food and I went down there and did it myself. Oh, well, look at you. Because I had you're, to. You're a superstar. No, no, I wish you're, I was. I wish I was. No, I'm not. <laughs> I wish I was on Okay. Point, All right, Mr. Lewis, congratulations on getting out of homelessness. We're nice. rooting for you. Thank and I'll you. jot down your phone number if I know anybody looking for work. We'll man, work together. Does that sound good? Thanks. Ding, ding. Y'all have a nice day, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. <laughs> ding, ding.